Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we beat this game, I guess? N um, except we haven't because if we go into scenario select, there is one scenario that we have not actually gone into. For whatever reason, the game decided to end after we were done with this confusing scenario name instead of going on to scenario 10. Well, in any case, at the end of Scenario 9, let's see here, Joe and Sam. They were two grayscale characters, and they made it into the internet, so good for them. Question is, what happened to everybody else? Well, let's start with Thomas and his friends. We kind of lost track of them after a point, and... After re-watching the previous stream, I think I figured out what was going on with them. I think they actually made it out of this program and into the internet, where they kind of made the internet an ideal place to live for all the AI pixels that we've been playing as. So after we were done with Thomas and Friends, we started playing as the grayscale pixels. Now one of the grayscale picture uh, pixels was Gray, who was a tall rectangle and apparently a bad guy. Now, in the case of Thomas and Friends, I just didn't get what was going on at first, but in the case of Gray, I just simply wasn't paying close enough attention because early on when we met Gray, we were told why he was bad news. Apparently, he wanted the world of the internet all for himself. So, that's, that's a problem. Still, though, there's also the matter of the other grayscales who haven't made it into the internet yet. Like, what happened to Paul or Team Jump? Well, maybe we'll find out here in Scenario 10. Long, long before Thomas, there were other AIs. They were prototypes, tests... We were shocked when one amongst thousands developed a powerful trait, hope. Okay, so maybe we won't find out about everybody else. Maybe we'll get a sequel. Well, kind of think of it. There was the situation with that black pixel cloud. And we heard about the black pixel cloud capturing some other pixels before the start of the story. And here they are. Great, more characters to keep track of. All right, narrator, who they? Benjamin and his father climbed between the rocks. If okay, Benjamin and his father. Let me write that down now. Benjamin is green square. Benjamin's dad is bigger yellow square. So many they characters. Fast enough, they could probably see the fountain before darkness fell. Benjamin had brought sandwiches especially. Pixels eat sandwiches. They had no crusts. Benjamin's father insisted on that. They were meticulously crafted, packed away in neat boxes. For as many cycles as he could remember, Benjamin had made the climb with his father. Every time, the glow felt closer, more tangible. Benjamin hoped that one day, he'd be able to reach out and touch it. Okay, I think I now know why the game ended after Scenario 9. According to Wario Land, this whole Benjamin scenario was actually DLC. So, all right then. And, nope. Benjamin's dad, I assume the big one is Benjamin's dad. I mean, usually dads are bigger, right? Still interesting that Benjamin has to lift his dad up. Oh, more of this. 
Whatever. Teamwork is the name of the game. Also, Thomas was alone. That is also the name of the game. Um. Okay. Yes, you can, in fact, jump high enough. So I guess maybe we won't get to find out what happened to Paul and Team Jump. 1,831 cycles later. This is a long journey. Benjamin ran. His father had sent word that it was ready. That it was actually done. The, the... There had Where... been a few misfires. Benjamin had seen the rectangle who tested Mark 26. More of a trapezium now. Well, it makes me wonder how many of these pixels there are then. The internet is being invaded by pixels. Which is just as well, because that's how everything is displayed, is in pixels. Hmm. The jetpack was glorious. Benjamin's father motioned to the switches he'd made, told him to fly to them. Slowly, though. When did we get this? Did we have that the entire... No. No, we didn't. So... Okay. We're like seeing the abridged version of another story, I guess. Whatever. This is fun. Hope he gets to keep it. Benjamin ignored him, of course, hitting the sequence as quickly as possible. He was dying to test this out properly, to fly to the fountain. Maybe I should write that down. I should write that down. Green Square has jetpack. So this DLC, by the way, Conveniently enough, it's called Benjamin's Flight. Here I assume that it was Benjamin's Flight because they were fleeing. This looks fun. Just a quick flight up to the fountain. Benjamin was sure his father wouldn't mind. The locked doors were uh, a precaution. The spike walls, a friendly reminder to be aware of his surroundings. If you say so. Glad there's a lot of checkpoints in this one. That combination lock on the jetpack had, after all, been exceptionally easy to guess. Aww, aww. I was, like, doing so good. Darn. I made it all the way here without dying once. And now I'm in trouble. You know, maybe I shouldn't have gone after that 100 deaths achievement so quickly. I could have gotten it from here. Now who's this? Anna was done. No, she's just getting started. Is wide. Purple rectangle. So glad I'm writing down these names. The fountain had sounded like a great idea when she started. An adventure. And more importantly, it was an adventure she could have alone.
Hope there's no spikes. Okay. Checkpoint also. Good. There's also not but going she to hadn't been alone. And they had seen her. Don't know who they are. Presumably there's not gonna be any more of those collectible achievements to find. Eh, why not? Yay! Okay. Benjamin was getting good at this. He could fly. It was important to stay focused, though. He had a fountain to get to. Nope, there was one right up there. I knew it couldn't be that easy. Ah. <sighs> Gotta watch your moment. <laughs> I find it interesting that pieces of Benjamin were falling down from there. Okay, that was good. You have to admit to that mountain, was good. Touch it. Get home for dinner. His father wouldn't even notice he'd gone anywhere. I think his dad's going to notice. Yeah, I kind of figured there'd be one there. Hope oh, there's plenty of fuel in this uh, thing. Oh. Darn it. Da da. Da. Nope, nope, nope. I could have made that one, but I, I'm not trustworthy of what's... Oh, scary, 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 scary. Oh, uh, no! Ah! Uh, okay, this one's uh, certainly a tricky one. Get up there. Come on, move, 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 move. Thank you. Uh, move. It's right there. Ah. The rectangle seemed remarkably unimpressed by Benjamin's jetpack. She didn't even ask about it. She just kept looking up and muttering about clouds. Oh. Initially slighted, Benjamin decided that this was a passing disinterest. And she'd come round eventually. Are, are we going to see the black pixel cloud again? Still not entirely sure if the black pixel cloud is a good guy or a bad guy. I'm under the impression that the black pixel cloud, even though we only saw it capture gray, might have captured... Paul as well. Although that still doesn't explain the disappearance of Team Jump. Maybe something happened to them and I just wasn't looking. Hello there, Beer Force. I see you found my uh, new emote for subscribers. Anna tried to talk the obnoxiously single minded Square out of his plan. She should have left him, taken the next portal home, and forgotten about that big splattering machine he kept motioning at heroically. Whatever works. That one was easier. Um, they 
were halfway to the fountain. It occurred to Benjamin that his father would have become aware of his absence by now. Benjamin hoped that he'd be forgiven. You know, the folly of youth. Hopefully we'll get to see Benjamin's dad again. But you never know with this game. Father had worked so hard on the jetpack. Look, look. So are you bouncing out of curiosity? Oh, I can't find out now. And thanks for the subscription, Maddie. No, not bouncy. Of course she's, she's not. Is she waterproof? Nope. She's just a wide rectangle. Who probably can't jump too well. Okay, that momentum will kill you. Come on, drain that water. Anna tried again. Anna sounds frustrated. She told Benjamin about the blinding light of the fountain, of the clouds which had defended it. She begged him not to carry on. The pixel clouds are defending it? That they're trying to stop people from reaching it? Are they like antivirus or something? He laughed it off. He wasn't afraid of clouds, so however pixelated they were, he could fly above them or swoop to avoid them. He scared her. So that explains the situation with the pixel clouds. I mean, the pixel clouds don't destroy anybody, they just put them in like a like a cell because that's what happened to Thomas and his friends they were put in a cell and had to be rescued chapter 11 well that might be the uh, locked scenario that we just walked into all right well chapter 11 then um do I want to end this episode here then you know what we're probably right at the end of the game or something i think i will go ahead and do an episode break right here and we'll go ahead and start scenario scenario 11 in just a bit so i would like to thank my patrons and for being my patrons including ixion and drew dicofolis i'd also like to give a special thanks to my special sponsor lit dragon when we come back, Scenario 11. I don't know what Scenario 11 is called. It probably has some sort of interesting name. Hopefully it'll also be an interesting scenario. It probably will be.